Hi guys, it's me Marissa, BAM, and today I'm doing a little video showing you pretty much everything I've bought for my dorm. Um, sorry I didn't really vlog shopping, I was planning on it, but then most of the time I was out shopping, I was out with like my family and my friends, and I mean, I feel weird <laughs> shoving a camera in their face. This is like furniture, decor, some stationery, that sort of stuff. I am still need to grab like dish soap, hand soap, because I have a sink in my room, ah! and like laundry supplies and cleaning supplies. But otherwise, I've got everything. <sighs> Finally! So let's jump in. So for my dorm, I have a pretty good mixture of stuff that I'm, you know, bringing from home and stuff that I bought new. So like clothes, blankets, all of those are coming from home. But like my vacuum is coming from home. I have a couple of stuff in this basket that I'm about to show you that I had already. So, so first is just a bunch of shower stuff. Um, this stuff I've kept pretty organized and the stuff in the basket, the bread basket and my tower cart back there, which you can't see yet is organized everything else i got new today pretty much so it's a little disorganized a little all over the place but i'll try to keep it in kind of sections so first we'll do like shower personal hygiene i of course have like toothpaste a toothbrush deodorant floss is in here and then a loofah i'm a loofah girl i've always been a loofah girl my shampoos i'm head over heels in love with the scent rose so i have the herbal essence shampoo and conditioner in rose as well as the dove body wash in rose and um these are the smaller bottles this is a pretty big bottle shower shoes i know a lot of people get just like basic flip-flops and whatnot these are labeled specifically as shower shoes oh well i just like them black my theme if you can't tell pink and black, kind of like my room now. Although I'd say my room now is pink and white. Um, I have a lot of white accents. I'm looking for more of a black, but. And then I also have this towel. Um, I believe everything I showed you from the shampoo to now is from Target. Um, this is one of those Velcro towels. So a lot of people were like, oh, bring a robe. You don't want to like have to hold a towel on yourself. But I think I will be fine with this because it's a Velcro towel. So like if I have to walk from the bathroom to my room, it Velcros. <laughs> and then all of this I'm storing in my shower caddy. I got the big plastic one. I've seen a lot of people say like they like the smaller mesh ones better. They're easier to carry. Um, I think this will be easier to clean because you can just wipe it out. Um, and I thought I would rather try this than have... A mesh one because I also think that would be harder to dry because it's like fabric and wet and the other main reason I got this is now null and void but I got it because it has this separate carrying case which is still zip tied in there but it's supposed to be like you can put like deodorant and your like toothpaste and tooth supplies and face wash so when you're just going to the bathroom like at night or in the morning whatever time you don't shower to like do your personal hygiene. It's just a little basket. You don't have to carry the whole thing. My room has a sink in it. <laughs> so my first choice room has a sink in it and I knew that going in, but I didn't think I was gonna get my first choice room. So I wasn't betting on having a sink. So that's why I bought this caddy. Next is the elephant in the room. This giant drawer set. I'm an out-of-state student and I have a feeling I'll be bringing a lot of clothes and a lot of thick clothes because I'm going up to Minnesota and I already hate the winters in Wisconsin and now I'm going up north more. So I'm bringing a lot of like thick clothes. I'm bringing an ungodly amount of blankets to be honest. Even I'm aware that I'm packing too much but I'm not bringing a car so I'd rather have more stuff than I need than not have enough because then I'm gonna have to buy it all. You know, like I don't want to have to buy 30 new blankets, so. But I'm planning on having this as under bed storage. I'm gonna loft my bed a little bit, um, like not all the way to the like bunk level, but just enough that I can fit this and maybe my mini fridge underneath it. And then speaking of my mini fridge, um, downstairs 
and in the clip I'll show you now I have my mini fridge my full body mirror and a little whiteboard um, the mini fridge and the whiteboard my mom got from someone and then the mirror is from Target so I think they're really nice the whiteboard I'm planning on having like outside my door and then people can like write on it and we can make friends and put our like social medias on it me and my roommate and it'll be cool you can see the rest of my stuff now Oh, Axel thinks this ottoman is his. 10 bucks he gets on it. Yep. <sighs> this ottoman I got from Target today. Um, I kind of wanted an ottoman because I'm lofting my bed a little bit and I'm short. And I wanted to be sure I could get onto my bed. And also, I'm bringing at least three, maybe four? No, at least four, maybe five blankets. Okay, I have my weighted blanket and then three like thinner throw blankets. That's what I use for winter here in Wisconsin. It should probably be the same in Minnesota, but I needed somewhere to store those. So I figured the ottoman would be the best place. Um, they had um, a square, that's the word I was looking for. They had a shorter in length, a more square one, but if you can see, based on Axel and my arm right now, I got the long one. Um, I figured because I'm bringing so many blankets, the long one will be perfect. And like if it takes up too much space, I can put it under my bed. That's why I'm lofting it for extra storage. I don't want to be the one to tell someone he has to get down. I have to get in there. Axel is the nosiest dog on the face of the planet. What? We're still in random zones, so this stuff kind of doesn't fit anything specific. But I got this little mouse from Target today. And I got it kind of on a whim. I thought it was really cute and it fit my vibe. And I've been working with laptops a lot at work. And they're not MacBooks. And the, the mouse pad is driving me insane. So just in case I have problems with my mouse pad of my Mac, I have my little mouse as a backup. Um, it's $5, it's like a little cheap and plasticky and light, but look, it lights up when it's on, which I think will get annoying, but that's okay. <laughs> and decent click. But the thing is with Max, it does have the USB um, adapter. So I did have to buy a USB-C adapter or USB to USB-C adapter so that this could hook into my MacBook, but I wanted to buy that anyway so I could charge my phone from my MacBook in class if I ever needed to, in, like in an emergency. Next I have these, these are my sheets. I got them off of Amazon. This thing has nothing to do with my dorm, but I bought it while I was dorm shopping at, at home today. So I'm counting in his dorm decor <laughs> because I have too many water bottles. But look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't know if you can tell, but it sparkles. It has this little cute straw and it's a bunch of little, oh, I froze. It's a bunch of little animals in Halloween costumes. Look at the witch cat. Are you kidding me? I'm going into animal sciences. Of course I need this cup. This I also got from at home. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, but it's, it's what I wanted, so. I'm hoping it works out. It's a little big and I don't like have room planned for it on my desk, but I also think I can hide it under my desk or under my bed because this is gonna hold my jewelry and my crystals. I'm a crystal addict and I can't leave my crystals. Like I can't pick only a few favorites because I don't have favorites and I, <laughs> they're all like different and I use them for different things. So I need them all with me at college. So this top part is going to be for storage, uh, like earrings and this little one, I think. And then maybe some of my crystal bracelets and my necklaces. And then this bottom drawer comes out and I'm going to put all my crystals in here. And then like some extra, extra witchy stuff, like my cleansing salt and all that good stuff that I can't leave behind. My tarot cards hopefully fit. <laughs> Another at home purchase. Oh no, I unfolded it. I have this black furry rug. A lot of people said don't get shag rugs because they get dirty, but I'm bringing a vacuum and also it's black. And like most of the other black rugs, and I wanted a black rug, 
are ugly. And then just small trash bags from Target. And then I got this gray laundry bag backpack. It looks small. The one at Target also looks small. I think the at home one is like one or two dollars more expensive than the one at Target. But the gray bag at Target sells out constantly. I've gone there like four times for it and it was gone. It was there this time, but it hasn't been there in the past. Um, just a few more random things I got. I have this mattress pad. This mattress topper I got from at home. I realized when I got home it says twin and not twin XL. I don't know if that's going to be an issue. Next I have this. This was like my little special treat purchase. Um, I have one of these at home. It's blue. This one. And I've had it for years. And... Do I use it on the daily? No, but whenever I'm in my bed like working or I want to be sitting up, I do use that pillow. So I thought I would like one that fit my room theme a little better because I think having a big ass blue pillow in the middle of my black and pink room would be a little jarring. So, ta-da, pink pillow. Oh my God, heck? I have shown this in a vlog already, me thinks, but I don't know for sure. But I have been looking for months for this backpack. It's from Target and I finally found it. Um, it's open story. I really like it because it's kind of smaller and it has like this pocket in the front and this and like the top handles. But let me open it and show you why I love it so much. It's actually pretty spacious. It has a whole MacBook section and then on this side there's spots to, like hang pens and put extra stuff in these pockets and when I first saw this backpack it was only in lilac and gray and I do really like the color lilac so that was going to be my backup but I was like there's no way they make this backpack in lilac and gray and not in pink or black and I would much rather have black my cart Axel thinks this is his cart this is my three tier cart. You can't see the bottom tier really. You can kind of see what's in it. But I got it from Amazon. Um, the reason it's open and set up is because I got it from Amazon. And I was just like, I want black cart Amazon. And then I picked like the first one and then it got here. And my mom was like, you might want to put it together to make sure it works and it's not broken and it's actually what you want and it's the size you want. So I did and it's perfect. And I threw away the box. So we're moving it like this. I pretty much have organized what's in here when I went through and I cataloged everything I had and everything I needed because for some reason me and my mom kept trying to buy dish towels, which is really odd and specific, but every time we were shopping we were like, oh, look at those washcloths. Do we need those? First drawer, I have my mostly decor and random objects. I have this, which my lovely, lovely lovely mother made for me i think i'm gonna take it off of this but we have to figure out how we're gonna hang it but she hand glued every single one of these gems onto this face but if you didn't know scream is my favorite movie of all time and look! so um i am the crazy roommate but i didn't have a lot of wall decor at the time that this idea was created and I absolutely adore this with my whole life. I have these just cheap black wireless headphones I got from Five Below. Um, I think they were $10. This basket I think we already had at my house. In here I have a wall charger that I got and sunglasses from Orientation and then the charger for those headphones. And then I have my Snapfish photos. I got like a bajillion of these, <laughs> literally, I think I got a hundred. I'm gonna do like this big wall collage. I'm thinking over my bed at the moment, but also if that's where I end up putting my other wall decor, there's plenty of room for this. And then we get kind of into more like random junk drawer stuff. I'm bringing this hair straightener. It doesn't work very well, but I don't straighten my hair often. I just need it just in case I want to make myself look nice and or I don't want to deal with this for whatever reason. I have this mirror and then up here, I'm not going to pull the rest of it out. I have lint roller that I had around the house. 
I have just some tools up there that I had around the house. I had the tools that came with the cart. I have emergency, which is going to be a lifesaver. I love emergency and like a flashlight, just some other like utility stuff I might need around the dorm. Now we get to get to what is one of my favorite parts, even though it's mostly just stuff from my house already, my stationary section. From quarantine, I fell deeply into the world of like study talk and study tube and stationary. Here I'm bringing my rocket book. I use it a lot for like chemistry because it really frustrates me. So I can like do all the work and save it, but then I can get rid of it so I don't have to look at it ever again. Here I have this little tabletop organizer set from at home. I really like it, it's black. And I think if my desk has a drawer, which I think it will, I think these will go in there. I think I'll keep maybe this long one out here for some of my extra pens that I have. And the rest will like go in the drawer for little knickknacks and stuff like I have in here. I bought this from at home as well, just a little rose gold pen pencil holder it's not gonna stay this jammed i just need to store everything somewhere for now and then i'm gonna bring you over instead of pulling everything out of this drawer because it's just a lot so as you can see i have a lot of uh sticky notes i've like acquired through the years i have uh, pencils these are dry erase markers and then i got two notebooks for school i think is that one boring no, it has color, and this one's polka dot. I brought two calculators just because I heard some classes won't let you have a graphing calculator. I have this funny little stapler that is the page folder, as well as this black stapler I had around the house. And then just a bunch of, like, tacks and binder clips and paper clips. I forgot the word that I had around the house already. And that's not all the stationary stuff I'm bringing. Don't let that fool you. That's just... The stuff I packed. Like I have another jar full of pens that I'm gonna put in here when I move to college and those are sitting on my desk because they're in one of my other pen jars because I have two, three at home right now because I have so many pens. But I'm still kind of using those because they're aesthetic and they make me feel happy. And then the bottom tier of my cart, dishes. I think it's all dishware, oh. And this little cat. I'm really upset that I can't have a pet with me at college while I'm in the dorms. So Alyssa, my best, perfect Alyssa, got me these little cats. She said, here, now you can have a pet with you at college. So there's that little one. I assume that's supposed to be a Persian. And then just like a, I just threw my Persian cat on the ground. Get me for animal abuse. I'm so sorry. <laughs> a little, I assume is supposed to be a little orange tabby and they are absolutely coming with me to college because I need my pets. It's funny because I don't have any cats, but I'm a cat person. I am so in love with these glasses and I don't even know if I'll use them in my dorm room, but I will use them eventually. <laughs> they are these rainbow color, like rainbow bottomed glasses. They don't super fit my theme, but they're so gorgeous. I had to get them. So I got two of the stemless wine glasses and then two just regular cups. And I got those from at home and they're just gorgeous. And I love them. And they're like plastic. My mom was like, Oh, look at these, look at these, look at these, but they were all glass. I was like, we're not putting glassware in my room, mom. <laughs> I don't trust me with that. This is just a Starbucks tumbler I've had forever, but it's like pink and it's huge. And I've been using my little black matte, oh my gosh, my little matte black one constantly at work. So I'm going to see if I can transition myself to this bigger one because it sucks because the little one is like 16 ounces and I have to fill it up every, every hour or less. And it kind of gets really annoying. I have this travel microwave safe ramen bowl that I've had in my house for literally at least probably 10 years. <laughs> I don't know where we got it, but it's pink. And I figured I'll eat a lot of ramen at college. And it's nice to have this bowl that I know is microwavable safe and a little travel bowl. So it's a little dusty, but a little dust never killed anyone. And I like free stuff or stuff that my mommy paid for. Here are the infamous dish towels. Got them from at home. Um, just like a cute pink 
Um, I'm gonna try to make these double for hand towels because I don't want to go and buy now hand towels for my sink. So I have one, two, three, four, four, six washcloths. Three can be for dishes, three can be for my handsies. <laughs> Another thing that does not match my theme, but it matches my glasses. So it matches like my kitchen's theme, if I had a kitchen, but these are just so cute. I could not say no. They're just iridescent uh, silverware, flatware set. So fork, knife, spoon, four of each. This is a coffee spoon, I think, like just a star stick spoon that's iridescent that my mom found somewhere. She's like, here, it matches your other silverware. And without a doubt, I said, yes, I need that. And she was like, I was kind of kidding. What are you going to use it for? I have the infamous dish set that every college kid has, especially every college kid who shops at Target. So I got, oh, they're stuck. They're stuck together. We're just going to leave them together. Oh, I got them. Two bowls as well as two plates from Target. But I have one basket of things left. I can reach it. Okay. Axel, you're gonna knock everything down. You can't do that. You have to lay right here, hon. <laughs> Just jumped on my Tetris wall of college stuff. But here I have this dorm suite dorm sign that was originally all one pink and it was super pink washed. And I think it's fine, but I also think my theme is pink and black and I wanted sweet to be accented so my mom bedazzled it because she's a G. Here's my big black comforter. Uh, looks like I got it from Target. It says it's reversible. The other side is gray. I hate the color gray. I'm wearing gray now. I wear gray only when it's something that I would really like in black but it only comes in gray. <clears throat> Laundry basket. That's cute. And hey, now I have more blankets to store in my ottoman. I got this bedside caddy. It's iridescent from at home. This my mom found. It's some like umbrella that says like the Humane Society of the United States. And it has just a bunch of, you know, it's raining cats and dogs. And gray isn't it exactly my aesthetic. And it's a little bigger than I wanted for a folding umbrella. But again, animal science major, pre-vet, of course I need an umbrella that's raining cats and dogs. Are you kidding me? This sign I got from at home. Literally, I didn't want a bunch of wall hanging signs, but I saw this. I have more crystals than friends. And the fact that I was struggling for the longest time to find storage big enough for my crystal so I could take them to college really says a lot. Just a literal butt load of command strips. I have too many lights. I'm aware, but I'm not gonna narrow it down until I get in my space and I decide what to do because I've changed my mind 40 freaking times on what I want this space to look like. So I will show you in order of what I wanted it to be. So I got these little clip lights um, and these little clip lights at different times, but I, oh, these don't have clips. That's good to know. These are just lights. Okay. Well, I got these clip lights because I thought they would be cute. Um, because originally I was going to loft my bed all the way up and put my desk underneath it. So I was going to do these back and forth underneath to give it light and then these along my desk to hang pictures and then I have the classic multicolor LEDs because I have them in my room right now and I'm obsessed with them and then I bought this stuff and immediately changed the design for my room so I still think I'm going to use these and the clip lights maybe maybe not the clip lights and the string lights. Uh, oh, uh, they're kind of eh. I think I'll use them one day. But then I found these at both at at home, I'm pretty sure. And I fell in love with these and immediately thought of my new aesthetic. So I found these vine lights. 
and these little hanging rose lights. And I went, are you kidding me? My silk pillowcase, my hair, crazy psychotic. It's only a thousand times worse when I don't sleep on a silk pillowcase. And then just a little basic wire trash can for by my desk for like um, all my homework assignments that I throw away because I'm too dumb to do them. I have this throw blanket that it comes with a very interesting story. Um, someone I was friends with got this for me. Oh, dead bug in the basket! Spiders and shit. Ugh. This is my tapestry. This is the very first thing I got for college. I got it last Christmas or something. And it's kind of where the whole theme for my room came along because I had no clue what I wanted to do with my dorm room. And I knew I wanted like, ow, Belguji quill in my foot. Anyway, I knew I wanted a big tapestry to be like the centerpiece. Like I wanted it to match. And so I just went through Etsy and I went through Etsy and I found this one and I believe it's like the sun and the moon. And it's really like, it gave me witchy vibes and it gave me comfort and I thought it was really pretty. So I bought it and then I was like, okay, but I can't have my room be just black. That's a little boring and a little emo and I'm not that emo. So I got, I decided on black and pink. And then also in here, I'm not gonna pull it out because it's touching the box elder bug. Hold on, I forgot you're plugged in. My Keurig, it's a mini Keurig. Um, right now I think it's gonna go on top of my dresser. It's black. I have a coffee addiction, but that is everything pretty much besides cleaning supplies that I got for my dorm room. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I mean, let me know if you have any questions. I know I have an obnoxious amount of stuff and probably more stuff that I need, but I feel like freshman year is your year to make mistakes and live large. And again, to repeat and defend myself, I'm an out-of-state student coming from four hours away and I'm not bringing a car. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more college content. I have a packing video and a moving video and my last week in Wisconsin video coming out soon. So I will see you guys later. Bye.